Hey guys, I'm Kay from Burst Review, and today we're doing combat yoga, a 10 minute workout with nine moves to help you reach tactical enlightenment and align your inner zero. Now, before we begin, I'm gonna grab a couple of accessories, namely a shooting mat and an ammo block. And these are not required, but they will enhance your performance. And I have a couple of shooting mats to choose from. And I also have a 5.56 ammo can with me. You can use whatever you have available to you. Right, now that we have our accessories in order, let's get started. Stand with your feet together, hands pointing towards the ground and close your eyes. Align your inner aim to its point of impact. And let's think about safety. Not everyone has the same flexibility, so please modify these moves to suit your needs, as you would an AR. You don't want to force your body into any move it's not comfortable with. Your body is not an AK. All right, let's move into our first position, the brass vulture. Feet about hip width apart. Take a big inhale up. Exhale, swan dive down into a flat back. And stay here for a second. Don't want to be too gung-ho. Don't want to burn yourself on those freshly shot cartridges. All right, when you're ready, take a big handful of brass, put it in your right ammo pouch. Same thing, other side. Inhale up, exhale down into a flat back, and stay here. Take a look at all the different calibers on the ground. Some nine millimeter, some 45, maybe even some 308. And when you spy your cartridge of choice, Swoop on down, take a big handful, put it in your left ammo pouch. Great job. Now we're gonna move into Blue Falcon and I'm gonna use my mat for this one. So just take your mat, put it in front of you, place your hands on your mat and jump or step back into plank. And then heels come towards the ground into Blue Falcon. And stay here for a couple of breaths. Your feet should be about hip width apart. Hands, try to keep them in line with your feet. And I'm gonna sneak in a little calf stretch. So hook your right foot over your left ankle and push that left ankle down to the ground. God, that feels good. All right, back into Blue Falcon for just a second. And then take that left foot, hook it on your right ankle and push that right ankle down. Feel that calf stretch. All right, <laughs> back into Blue Falcon. Just a couple of seconds. Come into plank and do a slow motion push up into spotter. All right, move around here. Do whatever feels good for you. Make sure you get your sight picture just right. Inhale, squeeze. And exhale, release. <sighs> Great job. Come on back into duck and cover. Knees come down, hands over your head. I remember doing this in high school. I hope I'm not showing my age. <laughs> All right, a couple more breaths. And get yourself ready for Spetsnaz prone. So come on up into a standard kneeling position. Get that mat out of the way. So sit on your left heel, right knee comes out. Form a pistol with your hands. And now for Spetsnaz prone, you're gonna wanna kick that right foot out as you come down, knee to elbow, or if you're more flexible, shoulder. Couple of breaths here, you guys are doing great. Stick with me. And same thing, other side. Handgun at the ready. And for Spetsnaz prone, you're gonna kick that left foot out right knee to elbow or shoulder to knee. A couple of deep breaths here. All right, now we're gonna move on to a weekend warrior. So come on up into a standing position. Feet as wide as you can manage. Hands can go wherever you prefer. It can be at your hips or at your sides. 
stay here for a couple of breaths and weekend warrior. And when you're ready, we're going to transition into grenadier. And for this, if you don't have great balance, grab that ammo block, put it near your foot. For grenadier, you are going to kick those right toes out while the right knee bends and your right hand can come. It can stay on your hip, knee to elbow. If you don't have great balance, you can use that ammo block for balance. For the advanced version, high five the ground, and toss that grenade as far away as you possibly can. You know that fuse was made by the lowest bidder. All right, come back into Weekend Warrior and same thing other side. Move your ammo block if you need to. So your left toes point out, right knee comes down, left hand, Wherever you prefer, I'm gonna high five the ground and toss that grenade. And make sure you follow through. Gotta follow through with everything, even grenade tosses. All right, back up into Weekend Warrior. And we're going to move into our sitting position, the silencer tap. And for this, you're going to want your shooting mat and your ammo block if you have them. So come on down and sit on that mat. Place that ammo block Oof. at the tips of your feet. Come on up, sit straight, inhale up, and exhale down. And tap that ammo block, which is our silencer in this case. And if you're not flexible, tap your ankles, tap your knees, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm gonna come on back and tap that silencer, which I know you shouldn't be doing, but curiosity gets the best of us at times. All right, you guys are doing great. Just one more move and then the workout is done. All right, come on up for our dual wielding rotating death blossom. Move those accessories out of the way, you won't need them. And just come into a standing position, feet together, hip width apart, or a little wider than hip width, whatever will give you the most stability. Pistols at the ready, or they could be rifles in a sling. <laughs> Have fun with this one. And just sway side to side. Try to keep the lower body static while the upper body moves. Such a great ab stretch. All right, once you've run out of ammo, your workout is complete. Thank you guys so much for joining me for combat yoga. I had a great time with you as my battle buddy. And I hope that I help you find your inner peace. MOA.